Okay, thank you. Um, hi, everybody. So my name is Charlotte Esnou. I am uh, from the Nantes School of Art, l'École des Beaux-Arts de Nantes Saint-Nazaire uh, in France. So I'm going to start by, um, sorry, I'm going a bit too fast, showing you where we are located on the map. So if you can see it here on the screen, you can see Paris on the top uh, corner on the top right corner and then Nantes Saint-Nazaire is right on the west coast of France uh, by the Loire River. It's about two hours away uh, from Paris uh, with the speed train and so we have two campuses. One is located in uh, the city of Nantes and the other one in uh, the city of Saint-Nazaire and it's about 30 minutes away from each other. I'll show you a picture uh, in a second. So this is uh, the city of Nantes. It's by the Loire uh, River, as I mentioned, um, and the city of Saint-Nazaire. So this is still Nantes, as you can see on the picture. Um, so it has a lot of cultural assets. Um, as you can see, the castle here and a lot also of um, public installation in the city. So it's a very nice uh, place to live in. It's also uh, less expensive than Paris to be uh, at, which is uh, also an interesting thing uh, for the students to consider. And this is the city of Saint-Nazaire, as I mentioned, is on the seaside. So it's another type of uh, landscape, but it's also very nice to be at. Um, so to introduce you in a nutshell who we are, um, Les Beaux-Arts Nantes Saint-Nazaire is a highly selective public higher art institution. Uh, we teach uh, fine art, art, we're delivering uh, national degrees recognized by the French government. The first national degree is the equivalent of what we call a licence. It's a DNA, a DNA. It's, it means Diplôme National d'Art and it's delivered in three years, uh, the same as, a, as an undergrad. And then uh, after these uh, first three years, uh, students usually carry on for an additional two years, which is the equivalent of a master's degree. And that's called uh, in uh, Les Beaux-Arts, a DNSEP, which means Diplôme National Supérieur d'Expression Artistique. And that diploma is delivered in five years. So it's the equivalent of a master's degree program. The school um, in Nantes uh, is, uh, well, provides, um, you know, preparation combining fundamental uh, elements of the artistic method uh, with issues of contemporary art. It has a strong focus on contemporary art. That's very important to know. And it's the particularity of it is that it's studio based with a lot of technical training. So the school is actually built around uh, technical poles. Um, and these poles are uh, being supervised by artists or technicians. And there are many of them uh, at the school. Um, you could do woodwork, metal, ceramics, sculpture, all types of sculpture, painting, drawings, and also more specific things such as lithography, serigraphy, and there's also a lot of digital video, sound and performances. So all of this is available to the student all throughout their time at the school. And they start by kind of exploring progressively each and every one of these medium. And then they narrow it down if they want to, or they explore new medium, etc., etc. And of course, that technical training is complete, completed by a wide range of theoretical classes. Um, not to forget heart history, but there's also a lot of methodology and thesis writing, especially in the master's degree. Study trips, there's the learning of languages, etc., etc. So the question that always comes up um, is that what do we do after such a, a diploma, after, you know, uh, being at the School of Beaux-Arts uh, for three or four or five years? Well, a lot of our students then, you know, become involved in the contemporary art, sc art scene in France or abroad. And they also do photography, digital art. Um, they get involved in the art market um, and fashion landscape. So it's very broad uh, communication, interactive design, illustration, etc., etc. So the school really gives you a basis um, for your artistic practice, and it's a lot based on personal artistic project. Um, 
All right, so these are images from uh, the school in Nantes and in Saint-Nazaire. Um, the building in Nantes, you can see, is is very new. Um, it is um, where well, we have uh, we have uh, came in into that building in 2017 um, and it's a former um, a ship factory that was rehabilitated in the Quartier uh, de la Création uh, on the um, on the island of Nantes in the city center and it's a very nice building because it's, it's very spacious and there's a lot of uh, the first ground is completely dedicated to uh, workshops and technical places. Um, so there's a lot of space for creativity and uh, for the students to uh, um, to set up their, their little um, world there. Um, as you can see here, you see some of the technical um, workshops. So there's lithography on the top uh, left and then on the right. Uh, there's metal work, um, woodwork, and lithography as well. Uh, that gives you an idea. All right. So the complicated thing to understand is how you as an international student can get involved um, at the school. Well, you have different options. Uh, if you have, if you are, uh, you know, a student interested in, in coming to France to study art and design or art or design, um, you can uh, come to Beaux-Arts Nantes Saint-Nazaire. And it really depends on your personal project, but also the level of studies that you've already done in your, in your home country. So you can start right off the bat with, you know, entering the school on the first or second year, if you don't have any uh, type of higher education in the art sector in your country. So what you will do is that you will um, enter the school through what we call a class préparatoire international, which lasts for one year. And the class préparatoire international is a preparatory program, basically. And it will give you the tool to um, to kind of refine your artistic project, but also uh, get a f sufficient uh, language level, uh, French uh, level. Um, but you will also be learning uh, English um, if you want to, etc., etc. And that 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 class préparatoire will prepare you to uh, enter um, École des Beaux Arts Nantes Saint Nazaire or any other school of your choice which you would like to prepare. Um, and to get into. And it will give you uh, the opportunity to enter the schools right uh, at the, either the, the first year or the second year if you have the level for it. If you already have a, a type of instruction or art, artistic diploma or artistic level in your own country, then you will um, prepare um, to enter uh, parallel admissions in uh, you know, a school of fine art in France. That could be the school of Beaux-Arts Nantes Saint-Nazaire, but that can also be any other school. And so to do so, you will enter a one-year program, which is called the Programme International Equivalence. And that will give you an upgrading and I will uh, present you this more in detail in the next slide, but that will give you an upgrading uh, of your artistic, uh, you know, practice and also um, in uh, in French uh, language. After that, Programme International Equivalence, you'll be able to integrate, uh, you know, either the School of Beaux-Arts Nantes Saint Nazaire at, um, you know, a upper level. So that could be uh, year two, year three, but also in the master's level, if you have the level for it. Um, and then receive either the graduation uh, from the Beaux-Arts Nantes Saint Nazaire uh, at the third year. So the, the, which I mentioned before, the DNA, the Diplôme National d'Art, or if you start in the master level or carry on to the master level, then you will be able to graduate uh, from the DNSEP, which is the master's degree level of the Ecole des Beaux-Arts Nantes Saint Nazaire. But you can also prepare uh, for the parallel admission of any other school of your choice in France. So I'll, I'll go into detail for that a bit later. Um, so, Class Préparatoire Internationale d'Art et de Design, uh, which I mentioned, um, is geared to um, prepare for the first year entry exam, 
uh, for schools of art and design in France, you can also apply abroad, but we will focus on France. And it's a one year of intense art and French language course. Uh, it will be taught in French, but also in English. But mostly, of course, because you are in France, uh, the language of training will be also, you know, will have to necessitate a French level, a French language level, which you will be prepared for. But we also require that you already have a level of a French language prior to entering uh, and you know, usually we um, we accept or we um, we get or we require students to have a A2 or B1 level of French prior to their entry into the program. But the A1 level is also accepted. Um, the prerequisite for this program is only to have the equivalent of a high school diploma uh, in your own country. You will be mixed with the French uh, students as well. So that's kind of an it's a very nice um set up for learning small sizes classes a lot of personalized attention um it's a foundation year double upgrading as i mentioned art and uh, french language so that's for the um class preparatoire international as far as the classes goes um and the hour of, of training well, it's a fairly intensive training because um, the weekly schedule is about uh, 31 hours per week over 28 weeks. As I mentioned, it's a one year program, so it lasts for 28 weeks. Um, and during uh, that year, you will be able to um, have a lot of practical art workshops and initiation of methodological and technical tools. And that takes, you know, most of your of your of your week and then uh, uh, every week you'll also have art history and contemporary art news classes, um, workshops with guest artists also. Uh, you'll be able and you have hours to prepare uh, your portfolio uh, for the entrance exam test. And as I mentioned, there's a lot of intensive French classes as well, which you know you will you will need to uh, follow classes, but also get around um, in the country. And there's a uh, a, a discovery, also a time uh, dedicated to the discovery of the contemporary art scene, uh, which basically means uh, going to uh, see exhibits and um, art shows. The program also includes, um, you know, one week study visit in Europe to discover major collections. So that's usually a nice also a uh, bonding time for the students and teachers. So um, the program equivalence for parallel admissions, as I mentioned, is for, uh, you know, usually older students, uh, for them to prepare for a higher admission in the BA level or even the MA uh, level, uh, parallel admissions um, for advanced schools of art, uh, ar architecture and design in France and in uh, French speaking countries. I will focus on the art and design uh, for next year. Um, but it's an upgrading year and it will um, give you, it will prepare you for the equivalence commission. Uh, the prerequisite uh, is that you have already an artistic study uh, level uh, in your own country. The same as for the class preparatoire. These are small classes, personalized attention. And the level of, of French that we require is A to B1 and A1 accepted. Um, as, for, as far as the classes goes, um, as you can see here, well, this is the, these are some of the workshop um, at, the Nantes, um, at the Nantes building, but it's about the same type of, of weekly program. It's fairly intensive also. Um, a lot of, uh, you know, practical art and personal uh, project, uh, master classes, and there's also, um, you know, history of art and uh, design classes, and still intensive French courses applied to the specialty. Um, and that program also includes study visits in Europe uh, for major collections. So which schools uh, do the students who uh, follow these programs go to? Well, you know, a lot of them uh, stay at the non-school of arts to carry on for their BA or the master's degree level. And um, then a lot of others also apply to the schools that are here uh, on the screen. As you can see, they're, they're very um, numerous. Uh, and these are in the totality of the schools that the students get into. 
but they are public and private institutions and some of them are design oriented some of them are only fine art and some of them are universities as well or we have students who carry on into uh, you know doctorate programs as well so um, the final destination uh, if i may say um, is very large and broad and really depends on your personal project so how to apply to this program it's fairly simple you can start applying right now for the 2021 um, start and you can do so online on the not international program.com website but also on campusart.org which you uh, may probably know already and that, to do that to apply application is fairly straightforward you send a personal portfolio um, a letter of application and a resume along with several other um, you know administrative paperwork and then you will be pre-selected by uh, the jury of the school which will invite you uh, to do a, a presentation of your work on a zoom meeting or a skype meeting uh, at some point um, and and the, the tuition fees, um, so um, I didn't speak about that before, but the pre-registration -re fee is about is 150 euros and then the school fee, annual fee, is uh, 5,400 euros a year. Um, that includes everything uh, as far as, you know, curriculum goes, um, as well as the French intensive French classes and the study trip. There's a possibility of grants and scholarship based on criteria of excellence, uh, if need be. Um, what else? The calendar. Um, the calendar um, is, um, you know, about the same every year. But um, in February, that's the deadline for submitting your application. You can submit your application right now uh, on the two website that I cited before. It's open. Um, in April, we announce, but usually it comes also um, prior to this, but we announce uh, the, the shortlisted candidates. And then from April to June, uh, we, ca we, we carry on the, the interviews by video conferencing. April to June as well, admission results and pre-registration. And then October 8th is the class prepa and the, and the programme équivalent starts. This year it started in October. Um, sometimes it's a little earlier in the year, but this year was uh, pretty specific circumstances. All right, these are some testimonials um, of the students, uh, which uh, you can you can read uh, if you have uh, you know the if you can see it on the screen. But um, various testimonials also from from students who had different paths after entering the program. For example, um, Irina uh, from Russia, she followed the program equivalence in the design specialty. And then she um, she enrolled in the master's management program in the, at the Nantes uh, School of Design. And now she's working for a digital agency in Paris. Uh, so she was in the program in 2016. Um, and then Malik from Algeria, he uh, also followed the programme equivalence in the architecture specialty, but then he entered the Master II of the École Nationale uh, of Architecture in Nantes. And then uh, Bo Young, she is from Korea and she uh, followed the Classe Préparatoire Internationale. And she is, um, you know, uh, hoping to um, carry on at the Beaux-Arts Nantes Saint-Nazaire. So these are different type of students, um, different trajectory, as you can see. Um, we were lucky enough in 2019 to receive the uh, label, Bienvenue en France, uh, from the French government uh, for the quality of the integration of international students into our program, uh, our welcome for their arrival. Uh, we have them and we will help you uh, find uh, lodging, accommodation, uh, help you with the paperwork, necessary paperwork, um, all administrative formalities such as, you know, visa and CAF and social security, opening a bank account. We know that this can be overwhelming 
for uh, anyone entering the country for the first time. So we made uh, and we give special care to um, make sure that you do that uh, uh, easily and coming uh, to France is not a problem and a bit, uh, even a pleasure. Uh, contact if you need to, this is the email and the phone number. This is the international team. So there's uh, Ju, uh, which is right here on the, on the right, and then Teresa in the middle, uh, Audrey and myself in the back. And we are here uh, to help you uh, make sure that uh, coming to France and study at our institution um, is the easiest thing uh, and the best choice you'll ever make. That's it for me. Well, thank you very much. And I hope you have some questions. I'll be in the chat uh, room or in the Zoom link uh, with my colleague, Ju, uh, to answer any question you may have. Thank you very much.